Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Glofi, which is a really cool uh, text notification app. Um, before we get to that, just want to remind you that uh, these reviews are sponsored by Antitags.com, which is the best place on the internet to get really cool looking uh, NFC stickers or NFC tags for use with your Android phone. So uh, check out Antitags.com after the review. So uh, Gl Glowfly is uh, a relatively new app, really cool app, really simple, and what it does, basically it uh, gives you a pop-up notification anytime you get a text message and allows various options of what to do with it once you get that. Um, you can see it better than I can explain it, so we're going to hop right on my phone so I can show you how it works and all the really cool uh, customization options for it. So I thought I'd start off by showing you what it looks like when you get a text and you have uh, Glowfly uh, activated on your phone. So I'm going to have a text coming through here in a second and I will show you exactly, uh, you'll get to see what it looks like. Captain, incoming message. So there you go. You see that's, that is Glowfly. It is basically a little pop-up box. Um, tells you who the text is from and the text uh, is in there and uh, you have your contact and then you have the uh, three buttons at the bottom with options. I'm going to show you what uh, if you hit the contact then that will open up that contact for you in your contacts so you could then call them or uh, message them back that way but even without that you have these three buttons at the bottom. Now these are customizable you can have three buttons or two buttons uh, and you can, uh, you'll see in a second when we go inside the app how you can change uh, those buttons and what they do. Right now, obviously, I could dismiss, call, or reply. Now, I'll show you a reply because this is quick reply. So, with quick reply, it opens a box right there, uh, still going through Glowfly, that allows me to respond to that uh, text message if I want to. Um, I'm going to cancel that and then I'm going to dismiss that. So, there you go. Well, how about that? I got a message from somebody else. This was not planned, but as you can see, it pops up there. Uh, and I could dismiss call or reply. I'm going to dismiss. Alright, I'm going to go into the Glowfly app for you so you can see the various. Uh, options that you have with uh, uh, Glowfly. And there it is, there's a little app icon. So let's open that up for you there. And uh, you see, you can enable pop-ups or you can disable them. You have your notification settings, um, default notifications. So those are your standard notification settings. Uh, pop-up enabled, you can have it on or off, you can have I have the ringtone set to silent, so I just use my phone's ringtone for when I get a message. But you could set your phone's ring uh, notification for texting to silent and just use Glowfly. Um, I'll show you the advantage of doing that in a second. Um, notification icon, you can change the notification area icon that pops up uh, when, uh, uh, when you get uh, a message. Uh, you have the options there. Uh, Notify on call, uh, so uh, if you want to be notified when you receive a text message if you're on a phone call, you could set that. Um, you can click test and that'll give you a test kind of showing you currently what would happen, the sound it would make, etc. If you want to vibrate, you can use vibrate. You can choose the vibrate pattern. You can choose for it to blink the LED. Again, these are all options that you may have built into your phone whenever you get a text message, but if you don't, then you can use them here, or you can disable them in your phone and use Glowfly. It gives you more control, as you'll see in a second. And then privacy mode. Uh, so you can you can have different modes. Uh, if you enable that, then as you can see, you can hide the contact name so that the, the message sender, uh, sender name won't be shown. And you can either choose to use privacy mode 
uh, all the time or you can select so that privacy mode only happens uh, when your phone is locked so that if you have a if your phone is locked and you get a message pop up it won't show the name which is kind of a cool option uh, going back here now those are the default notifications contact notifications um, I don't have any but you can search through your contacts and you can set up specific notifications for each contact so that's the part why uh, you might want to turn off your phone's normal notifications and just use Glowfly because then you could have a specific uh, ringtone used for when a specific person texts you um, which is really cool um, so those are all the uh, uh, things you could change for default notifications you can change those for exact people inside uh, contact notification so that's really cool um, you could have it only vibrate if a specific person is calling you you could have it do a specific ringtone now the pop-up buttons that's what you saw there and the, when I uh, had uh, uh, when I received the message and you have these options you can show buttons on pop-up you can turn them off if you don't want to show any of the buttons and then you can change each button I'll show you what you could, your options are delete now reply if you just do reply that takes you into your uh, your normal SMS uh, text messaging uh, system to reply um, quick reply is what you saw that I had so that I could reply without going into my text messaging app I could reply just using Glowfly call uh, forward reply to phone number inbox just takes you to your SMS inbox um, speak that would just speak the text message I don't know if there's any reason for that because if you're looking at it why would you need to speak it but it is there um, view add contact if you want to view the contact of course you can also view the contact by pressing on the contact uh, picture there as you saw and dismiss all um, now if you have uh, uh, long click menu so if you have a message from Glowfly up on your screen in your long pressure menu then uh, all of these actions that you have selected will appear so all the actions that are not on one of the buttons I already have on there I have set so that if I long press the menu button those will pop up so I can do any of those things as well and uh, then you also have an option for when you receive a MMS so if you get a picture or something text message with media in it you can uh, choose your long click uh, menu and you can choose show buttons on pop-up which on that I have dismiss a little bit different but mostly the same but basically what's added is the uh, view MMS um, so that you can view your the uh, picture uh, or video whatever is attached so those are your uh, pop-up buttons and then mark red so if you want whenever you dismiss a message in Glowfly you want it to mark it as red in your system that way it removes the uh, your normal text messaging apps icon the, the notification that can be done you can change your text size so if you want it to be bigger so you can read it easier you can change the contact picture size you can also enable reminders which is cool um, as you see I have set uh, to remind me two times if I don't uh, get the message in case I leave my phone downstairs and I'm upstairs or something uh, then you can set your reminder interval I have five minutes and then you can choose your reminder sound and then uh, quick reply options you can choose preset messages for quick reply and uh, you can choose so that when you reply it saves that message to presets for future use and you can add a quick reply signature if you always want a specific signature to be at the end of every quick reply and also deliver reports so as you can see it's just a, a really cool app with a lot of great customization features um, and that's what makes it great uh, it's simple you can also get themes and plugins did I show you that uh, oh here we go advanced settings that's what I didn't show you advanced settings so pop-up mode always show pop-up or restricted or not locked I have it normal you can select to show a pop-up over your lock screen if you lock your phone I never lock my phone but if you use a lock screen you can have the pop-up show the lock screen 
You can have select show pop up on desk doc. <clears throat> you can select to reverse the order. So if you get several messages and you haven't checked, what order do you want to view them in? From the newest one to the oldest one or from the oldest one to the newest one? Um, disable vibration on doc. MMS delivery reports fix. So this will show a toast message for incoming MMS. Um, then you can have screen control. You want it, it, the Glowfly to turn the screen on anytime you get a, a, a pop-up, a, a message. Uh, screen on for reminders. You want to turn the screen on when it's doing a reminder. You want it to uh, dim the screen. Uh, and screen time out uh, for when uh, it has turned on the screen due to a pop-up if you have that selected. And then auto-rotate. So those are your advanced settings. And then now going back to select a theme, there are a lot of different themes. You can download additional themes from the market. I downloaded the Holo theme, which basically just gives you various colors to choose from. I'm using the, the Holo orange dark, so the orange bar at the top and the black background. You can also do white background if you want. That's because orange is my favorite color. And then uh, you can get, this is where you can get the themes and the plugins. You can also get a plugin for missed call alerts. And uh, so if you have this app and you download the missed call alerts, then if you miss a call, you'll get a pop up with that. And you can also get reminders. You can also get one, there was one there for low battery alert. So uh, there are additional things you can do besides just text messaging with this. And then at the bottom there you just have your, you know, go to the website and change log and all that good stuff. And that's basically everything there is in Glowfly. Um, like I said, it works great. Um, I use it in conjunction with, I have a, well, you guys know I've done a review of AVX uh, or EVA, which is the uh, voice action app I use. Um, and I like having uh, the uh, Glowfly along with that. So now whenever I get a text message, my voice app will notify me that I got a text message and ask me if I want it to read it to me. But I also have the Glowfly pop-up. So if I'm actually looking at my phone, I don't need it to be read to me. I can just read the Glowfly pop-up and dismiss it and I'm good and done. So anyway, that uh, that's Glowfly. So that was Glowfly. Um, as you can see, pretty simple app, but really cool. Uh, does what it does very well and has uh, you know a lot of great options and uh, also different skins and things, add-ons you can download for it. So uh, check it out in the uh, Google Play Market using the link below. Um, if you like this review, please click the like button, share it with your friends if you want to let them know about this cool app. Um, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, uh, see my other reviews and also be notified when I add more. And that's about it. Until next time, uh, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.